Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the final day of week one here in the Mid-Atlantic Mauling League's Dungeon Bowl. We're going to have two great games tonight. Another doubleheader. First up, we're going to have Tracksuit Mafia versus Petting Zoo players. Merrick versus Doug the Minotaur. Chaos versus Dark Elves tonight. As you can see, after four games in week one, a minor matter, Artificial Bunnies team, an underworld team, they are in first place in Division A, followed behind by Take the Wood, Take the Bat, and Womb Guardians, each who drew in their game. There's one game left in Division A tonight. That will be Nurgle Burgle Boys versus Tainted Cocktails. It's coming up for you as a live stream this evening. But before that, we have the final game here in Division B. Bonsai Legends, Berserker Tempest team, another Underworld team, this time a TV 1000 team. They are in first place in Division B. Uh, Neon and Uffle and Pity the Ghoul each drew uh, last night, in fact. And Petty Zoom players and Tracksuit Mafia will be facing off tonight to finish out Division B here in week number one. So before this, <laughs> before this, uh, before this game started, uh, Merrick, the coach for Tracksuit Mafia, uh, approached me and said, "Hey, uh, you might want to take your B-roll first before we play our game, because <laughs> that way we don't spoil any rosters." And I said, "Yeah, yeah, yeah, I got it covered." I, I don't got it covered. <laughs> I did take the B-roll, and then I deleted it by accident. Whoops. <laughs> so here we'll look at a, another uh, Dark Elf team from Season 1. This is Purplish Passion. <laughs> but we, will, we won't be able to look at the rosters of the two teams, but we will talk about them for a little bit before we look at this team. This is a replay match. It was played earlier in the week. This will be the first time... Uh, we are watching it. I don't know the results. Uh, obviously, you guys don't know the results either. Well, we'll find out together, but we don't want to look at the rosters in case that betrays anything about the game. Uh, first up, <laughs> SP Beaver says first true game. That's right, it was. In fact, the first game played. <laughs> he has no idea of the results. Yeah, okay. <laughs> um, but we uh, first up, we have Petting Zoo players, not Purplish Passion, <laughs> Petting Zoo players. Uh, Doug the Minotaur, brand new coach to the league. Welcome to the team. Welcome to the team. Uh, you know what? I guess we're a team. Welcome to the team. Welcome to the league as well. Uh, he has brought in a TV 1000 Dark Elf team. Dark Elves. Uh, boy, I, honestly, of all the Elven teams, I think they're uh, I think they're the most tricky to play. Uh, I think they're definitely pretty good. Uh, Dark Elves, they are Elves, right? So they're very fragile. Uh, they're the least fragile of all the Elven teams. Uh, they do have some AV8 players. Uh, they got some tricks up their sleeves as well. Even at TV 1000, uh, the thing about Dark Elves, uh, in my opinion, is that they are solid at any TV level. You'll, you'll often hear me say how humans get weaker as TV increases, uh, or you'll hear me say uh, lizards get stronger as TV increases. Uh, Dark Elves, they're just good. <laughs> they're just good at any TV. Um, but the problem is they're elves. They're very, very expensive, and they are very, very fragile. Now, again, they're not as fragile as, say, wood elves, but they're still pretty fragile. They're, they're elves. Make no mistake, they break. Um, but they have a little bit more resiliency on some of the players. Uh, they also have some tricks up their sleeves as well, not the least of which is the witch elves. Now, I, again, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what Petting Zoo players has on the roster. We'll find out when the game starts. Uh, but... Uh, one of the players he can bring, of course, are uh, the the uh, witch elves. Witch elves are uh, the dark elf witches, uh, and they they can be very very scary. And the reason they can be scary is that they have uh, two key. Clyphe says witch elves. Ha 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 ha. <laughs> <laughs> they have two key skills that can make them very scary. One, of course, is Frenzy. We've seen Frenzy in action already in this competition. Uh, that means when you take a block, you have to follow up. If it's a push, you take another block. So that can be very, very uh, scary, especially on a player that has a lot of mobility, a lot of uh, movement points, and a lot of agility. That means they can get to where they need to go, and they can start knocking players down. They can surf players. They basically enclose the pitch on either side because they're so fast. They can go in either direction very, very quickly, especially in their, if they're in the safety position. But the other key skill that they have is uh, jump up. 
So this means that when they're knocked down, they don't have to spend the movement points to stand back up and move. Now, you might say to yourself, okay, so what, who cares? But remember, these are elves. These are high agility elves, or well, they're elves. They're high agility players, and they have a lot of movement points. They have a lot of speed. So if you have a witch elf that is down pitch, who's a receiver, for example, you can't just knock her down. You have to knock her down and either take her off the pitch or get in front of her and stop her forward movement, or else she'll just stand right up, she'll dodge gleefully away from you and score that TD. That makes them very, very scary on both offense and defense with those two skills. They are, however, fragile elves. He can also pick up a uh, an assassin. So the assassins have shadowing and stab. Shadowing means that they can they can follow a player who tries to dodge away and stab. We've seen stab already in the uh, in this competition. I think we've seen it certainly this season. Stab is basically a, a free straight to armor. You know, stab them in the gut. Um, Personally, I don't think Stab is all that great on sort of a quote-unquote normal player. I think where Stab really shines is on a fragile player who is skilled. In other words, uh, Stab is really hard to succeed on, on players that have decent armor. But if you can get a player that's, say, AV7 and has dodge, or even worse, has dodge and block, right? So if you can knock them down with that AV7, it's very easy to break their armor. But if they have dodge, or if they have dodge and block, it makes it really hard to knock them down. Stab can get around that. Stab can just say, you know what? I don't care about your block and dodge because I don't need to roll those dice and I'll stab you. You have weak armor, I'll take you off the pitch. That's where Stab really shines. Stab would be great against other elven teams like Take the Wood, Take the Bad. It would be get, uh, good against these underworld teams like Bonsai Legends or, um, or uh, Artificial Bunnies team whose name is escaping me, a minor matter. <laughs> um, so those are two key positionals you have on this team. Otherwise, uh, pretty, st I don't wanna say standard, uh, quote unquote standard elvish positionals. He doesn't have access to a thrower. Uh, you'll off Because of that, you'll often hear people refer to dark elves as the, the running elves. I don't know if that's really fair. Again, remember they're elves. They have a lot of AG here. We can look at Purplish Passion's roster here. Look at that, they're elves. They have AG4, <laughs> so uh, sure, they don't have passers. Uh, yeah, SP Beaver says all elves are runners. All elves are everything, right? You, you've got built-in passers, you've got built-in receivers. So don't let that fool you. These teams can still pass. These, team, uh, these teams still have a passing threat that you need to be careful of. He'll be up against uh, Trexuit Mafia tonight. That is Merrick's team. Uh, it's a chaos team. The problem tonight, so again, remember I said that Dark Elves are good at any TV, in my opinion. He's going up against a skilled chaos team. This chaos team has been in, uh, has been in these competitions since the beginning of the season. That means they've built up some TV, and uh, Merrick is really working hard to getting those skills he needs. He's looking for Claw, he's looking for Mighty Blow, he's looking for Piling On, and he's getting them. So this is a skilled up chaos team who can break his Brittle Elves fairly easily. Uh, otherwise, it's going to be standard Chaos Fair. Merrick's going to be caging up on offense, on defense. He'll probably be trying to screen this Elvish team as much as he can. It's going to be difficult to keep him from scoring, but certainly doable. Um, but really, uh, while he's doing that, while he's on offense and caged up and trying to plod down the pitch, and while he's on defense trying to screen out, remember, he's going to get at least a blitz, and he's going to be looking to kill these players. He's going to be looking to leverage Mighty Blow, piling on. He's going to be looking to leverage Claws. He's going to be trying to kill Elves tonight. And uh, Doug the Minotaur is going to have to be careful of that. He's going to have to be a little wary of that uh, and recognize that he's probably going to lose players, as all Elven teams do. Um, and play accordingly. That means that if he wins the coin toss, petting zoo players almost certainly are going to be on defense to start with. They're going to be on defense because that will be a guaranteed 11 players to be on defense with, and you don't need 11 players when you're elves on offense. Uh, the flip side is that uh, Tracksuit Mafia needs to be careful of this elvish speed, this elvish agility. He can't let it get behind him. He can't let these players just dash behind his team. He's going to need to keep a pretty healthy secondary on defense. And on offense, needs to be a little bit careful on offense that he doesn't 
uh, just rely on this cage and shrink this cage down and allow the defense to encircle him. If he allows that, that's going to allow these Elvish players to start cage breaking. Uh, granted, they don't really have the skills yet. They will get them later on. But if you give up the whole pitch, uh, another way to think of that is, is, is if you give up parts of the pitch, you're giving them to the other team. So it's going to give the Elvish team the ability to actually descend on the cage, stop that forward movement, and start trying to chip away at it and crack it open. And he needs to be careful of that. All right, this, again, this is a replay match, so this will go by pretty quickly. It'll probably be 30 to 40 minutes, maybe an hour at most. After that, we're going to have the final live match tonight. That will be, uh, I've already forgotten who that will be. <laughs> I've already forgotten who that'll be. That'll be Tainted Cocktails at Nurgle Burgle Boys. That will be uh, Chaos versus Nurgle. Uh, Malik's Chaos Team, Tainted Cocktails versus Nick Satan, the current league champion, the current Spike Magazine trophy champion, his brand new Nurgle team. That'll be a live match after this replay match. I'm excited to see both of them. Let's get into it. Let's make sure we don't look at anything on the screen and run this clicky click so we can Get back out. There we go. All right, I think we're about ready to get underway here. Clifus, he didn't sing during my match. What gives? <laughs> you've got to, you got to put me in a singing mood. Like Venger, he's got the jingles. I, I am not even trying to pronounce that. Tracksuit Mafia, the home team, of course. <laughs> I, uh, I have absolutely no idea who's on either roster. We'll take a look real quick uh, once this game, uh, once we see the team presentations. Oh, that's right. He's got a Minotaur again. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> and there's the Dark Elf team petting zoo players. So he does have, uh, he does have the the uh, the Witch Elf. He's got one. Oh, another thing with the Dark Elves is they can bring four Blitzers. That's great. That's super great. Blitzers, of course, come with the block skill. Here's the coin toss again. If petting zoo players wins the coin toss, they'll almost certainly be on defense. And indeed, they are. All right, so let's take a look at these rosters here. He's got a lineman, a line, a blitzer. We'll see how many. <laughs> He's got the notorious PIG, of course. <laughs> <laughs> it's two linemen. All right, linemen, two blitzers. <laughs> uh, any more blitzers? Where are the skills? I, I can't see the skills when it's, when it's paused. <laughs> so it looks like he only took two line, uh, two blitzers. So taking two blitzers instead of four. Oh no, he's got three. He's got to have fourth, right? Right. Three Blitzers and a, and a Witch Elf. All right, fair enough. So as you can see here, the Witch Elf has that, that Frenzy skill and has the, the Jump Up skill. Uh, but look at this. Look at the Blitzers here. See that? AV8. AV8. Clifey says, are you just seeing the names for the first time? I am. I, I have no idea who these teams are. <laughs> so uh, this AV8 is huge. That is a huge difference between AV7 and AV8. AV7 means you need an 8 on a 2D6 to break armor. AV8 means you need a 9. And... As you may be aware, on 2d6, there are a ton of ways to roll a seven and less ways, seven or less, and less ways to roll, I'm sorry, seven or more, and less ways to roll eight or more, right? Or nine or more. So uh, that difference is pretty stark. It's, it's not linear. Uh, so that's very good for uh, the Dark Elf team. And of course, he'll be up against uh, Merrick's team here. You can see. You can see he's got the Minotaur. He's got uh, these Beastmen. Where are his skills? There you go. You've got Horns and Claw over here. You've got, oh, he's got a Journeyman. Had to bring a Journeyman in here. 
Uh, petting Zoo players got a whole bunch of uh, inducement money, and they brought a wizard. We do have a week one wizard. Hooray! <laughs> Hooray. They brought a babe as well and a bribe. Uh, Tracksuit Mafia with a plus two fame advantage. That's huge. Three-man uh, offset defensive line here for Petting Zoo players. Tracksuit Mafia setting up currently with a six-man line. Two back to receive. They do have a kicker. They won't be kicking here. High kick. Tracksuit Mafia is going to try to pick this up without having to roll for it. Yeah, you can see Claw and Mighty Blow over here on the level three Beastman. Terrifying player. Two die block on the left side of the line to start this game off. He's going to start blocking down these players with his Chaos Warriors. They have a strength of four. He's got the Minotaur as well, who has a strength of five. Good knockdown. Finally, the Minotaur gets a clean pow. Good hit. And that's a KO to start this game. One man player advantage for Tracksuit Mafia. We talked about this. This is bound to happen with Elven teams. Elven teams, their big weakness is that they're fragile and super expensive. Two die blitz over on the right side of the pitch. It's gonna get the pal here. And <laughs> Berserking Tempest says, all elves, all elves must hang. <gasps> How dare you? <laughs> Good KO here for Tracksuit Mafia over in the right wide zone. Good action order by Merrick as well. He's going to go ahead and mark the number nine lineman. And now going for the ball pickup. Failed the pickup. He won't spend the TRR here, and that'll be the turn. Good turn one for Tracksuit Mafia. Turn one over to Petting Zoo players. They're going to get behind the number eight Beastman. They're going to go for the two die blitz. They're going to get the pal. Good knockdown. Good stun. Still has some movement with the blitzer. Going all in super aggressive with these elves. Here comes that dark witch. I'm sorry, the witch elf. <laughs> the dark elf witch elf. Going to get a two die block over in the right wide zone now. It's going to work out because he is a blitzer. He comes with a block skill. And you get a both down result. And you, when you get a both down result and you have the block skill, you, uh, you don't get knocked down. Failed the dodge here. This is a two plus dodge. Failed. Had to spend the TRR down to one TRR for betting zoo players. They only started off with two. Um, they are expensive. Going to go ahead for the foul here. Two assists. On, uh, one assist on the foul. Two assists on the foul. Only gets a stun, gets called off the pitch. It's now going to be... Oh, spent the bribe. Well done. Spent the bribe, stayed on the pitch. Only got a stun out of it. Turn two back to Tracksuit Mafia. Clyphe says, you're complaining about their cleats? Your team has claws and horns. <laughs> Speaking of which... <laughs> look at those cleats. Injury on the number six blitzer. There's no oppo, I think. Yeah, no apothecary. Uh, Two-man player advantage now for Tracksuit Mafia. Good ball pickup. Ball's going to move ahead to Tracksuit Mafia's own uh, six-yard line. Going to cage up. This is the problem going in aggressive. It's not necessarily a problem, but you go in aggressive here, and then you just have you have an elf who's gonna get picked off. But so goes sometimes. Turn two now. Whoa, wizard spent right on turn two. He said, "You want to group five players up? Eat a fireball. Two knockdowns, one injury, three knockdowns. Wow!" And now he's going to continue to use this aggression to go after this ball. Look at that speed. Elves are scary, man. Good dodge. Going for the blitz. Two die blitz on the beastman. Gets a push. He's going to push onto the ball. <laughs> Two die blitz on the beastman. Gets the push. Pushes onto the ball, 
and the ball scatters into the hands of pending two players. I enjoy that very much. Well done by Doug the Minotaur. Here comes that uh, witch elf applying that pressure. Went straight in for the ball. Used the fireball, worked out, broke a whole left side of the cage here. Got the ball out of the ball carrier's hands, and now it's in the hands of <laughs> Pony Malone. <laughs> Another failed dodge here. Uh, probably not going to spend the TRR. Indeed, he does not. <laughs> uh, but now it's going to be difficult to keep her standing. He does have some good protection over here. <clears throat> yeah, he's going to stand up Blitz here. Gets the two-die Blitz. Double pals on the number five Blitzer. Oh, excellent stun. Now he's going to get a two-die block on... Uh, the number 15 lineman, the ball carrier. He's going to move players into position first. Good action order. Needs to be a little careful. Oh, it worked out. If this if this didn't work out, needs to be a little careful with his team here. The, the Elven team could have just ran away with the ball and there'd be no catching them by Tracksuit Mafia. Good stun. Two die blocked by the Minotaur. <laughs> Doug the Minotaur says, oh god, no, I have to relive this. <laughs> I feel you, bro. <laughs> All right. Good mark to get the two-die block here on MC, on MC Rammer. <laughs> I love this team. <laughs> Here's the two-die block. Gets the pal on the number 14 lineman. Oh no, MC Rammer's dead! What? 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 Oh! Oh no! <laughs> Who's gonna invent the parachute pant now? <laughs> oh! Oh, that's heartbreaking. Three man player advantage now for Tracksuit Mafia. Clive says, is this why Ava didn't want to be in our division? This is absolutely why I didn't want to be in your division. <laughs> Moves the Witch Elf uh, into position to play some uh, play some defense here. Good pickup by the number 13 lineman. Tried the pass, going to spend the final reroll here on the pass. Trying to get the ball to safety. Well done. Well done. Lots of trusty patches. Thank you for the bits. I appreciate it. Another failed elvish dodge. Turn four to tracksuit mafia now. Here comes the blitz straight up. Two die blitz. It's not going to work out. He's going to have to spend the TRR. Ooh, this one worked out. Oh no. Oh no, and that's an injury on the Witch Elf. That's an injury on the Witch Elf. We won't get to see her, her shenanigans in action. Four, man, player advantage now for Tracksuit Mafia. Still a good call by Doug the Minotaur, I think there. Uh, Nuffle just sometimes is not kind. Tracksuit Mafia looking to murder. Get some protection on the would-be ball carrier and murder these elves. Clifey says, oh great, Merrick's gonna get like 100 SVP right before playing me. How exciting for him. <laughs> One die block, takes the YOLO block. Gets a push out of it. Doug the Minotaur said, so close to scoring. Yeah, we... <gasps> what?! Second death! Second death! Moiterized! Oh no! Wow! Not so trusty patches. Thank you for the bits. 
two deaths. It's not even the end of the first quarter. What is that, a five-man player advantage now? Let me count this. Let me count this. One, two, three, four, five, six. It sure is. Oh, 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 man. SP Beaver says, hey, if it helps, I was thinking of your team the entire time. <laughs> oh, that's sweet of you, thanks. <laughs> It's final turn of the first quarter here for petting zoo players. What do you do at this point? You play to win? I play to win, but it doesn't really help all that often. <laughs> Took the uphill block. Didn't work out. <laughs> oh, boy. Second quarter begins here. Tracksuit Mafia is going to go for the ball pickup. That's interesting. I thought he would have gone for some hits first. Went for the ball pickup, worked out. It's going to move this ball forward. Gonna set up, uh, looks like he's gonna try to set up a cage here. But yeah, you saw Doug the Minotaur talk about so close to scoring. Remember, we talked about that uh, in the pregame. Uh, these elves are super, super fast. And remember, they all have AG4. So you, you think they're too far away from something? They're never too far away from anything. Failed the wild animal roll. The Minotaur, if he's not taking a block or a blitz, there's a 50-50 shot he fails the wild animal roll. Otherwise, uh, there's a 1 in 6 chance, a 17% chance that he fails the wild animal roll. SP Beaver says, I should have gone for the hits first, then save the TRR. Uh, yeah, I agree, but you know what? Work out in the end. We'll see if he takes this yellow blitz up forward, or yellow block. He does, and this works out. Another KO. Oh me, oh my. That's a six-man player advantage on turn five. Oh, oh I'm getting PTSD from this. <laughs> Two die blitz gets the power against the number 10 beastman. He says, I don't want you to level up. But the beastman's gonna live to fight another day. Another failed dodge. Uh, that's a lot of failed dodges, uh, but you know, you dodge enough times, you're gonna fail them. But man, I feel, I feel <laughs> for petting zoo players right now. <laughs> Going for the handoff, he's gonna try to run this ball down the pitch. Feel himself. He says, you can't catch me. All right. <laughs> All right. He's going to mark some elves here. Yes, indeed. SPP says, I wanted SPP on the other player. You don't get the SPP for the handoff. <laughs> Sadly. <laughs> uh oh, you mean for the TD. Fair enough. Fair enough. <laughs> the elves are caged up. Sure, it's probably not the cage they want to be. <laughs> here's a, here's the, uh, the two die. Uh, Blitz on the number five blitzer. Good lord, what? Another injury. Can we just can we just count this? Can we just mourn this for a second? <laughs> Seven man player advantage for tracksuit mafia. And what's more is they are going to stall, and the longer they stall, the more hits they're gonna get. Oh, oh, I feel sick. <laughs> Thankfully, <laughs> that Minotaur is staying put. Clavius says, how many players does he have on the pitch now? Three? He's got four. He's got four. It's plenty. <laughs> good dodge over the right wide zone. Not a good dodge across the Minotaur, unfortunately. That'll be a turnover. <laughs> Doug the Minotaur says, Welcome to the league! <laughs> blitz on number four. Here's a two die blitz. Gets a pal on the notorious PIG. <laughs> Not so trusty Patch said, This is how my game against Tracksuit Mafia felt. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Chaos, once they get some. TV under their belt. <laughs> they're not, but they get some skills. Oh, they're not fun. <laughs> wow, I'm surprised he's leaving 
I'm surprised he's leaving number 13 alone. Two die blocks gonna get a good knockdown on uh, Kendrick Lama, number nine here. Here comes the foul. Ah, oh, the welcome to the league foul. Three assists. Didn't get anything out of it. It's gonna move the ball carrier right outside the end zone. And that'll be turn seven for Tracksuit Mafia. Turn seven for Penny Zoo Players. <laughs> yes, of course. Run him away. Save his life. Oh, wow. Tracksuit Mafia is going to score. Was this turn eight for them? One to zero. Tracksuit Mafia soundly takes the lead. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Oh, I, I hate Traxxie Mafia so much. <laughs> I mean, well done. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Both knocked out players coming back for Penny Zoo players. Hooray! Hooray! <laughs> All right, one turn left for Penny Zoo players. If they get a riot, they can score. Three-man line, pretty solid. Two deep defense. It's going to try to screen out Petting Zoo players. I think that is uh, a fair defense to take. One player back to receive for Petting Zoo players. They don't have many. They've got six on the pitch, and they're not getting anybody at, back for the second half. <laughs> Here's the kick. Oh, it's a riot! It is a riot! Oh, my! Petting Zoo players has an opportunity to tie this ball game up. There's the riot. Both teams gain a turn. And the ball scatters into the hands of the number seven, the number 11 lineman here. He's got an opportunity. SP Viewer says that was a kicker mistake. Yeah, I don't. Where did you kick it? Good knockdown on the left wide zone. Yeah, go for it. Head for the hills. <laughs> go for it. Tie this ball game up. Oh no, SP Beaver said I had my kicker on the sidelines. Oh, he didn't have his kicker. Oh. Go for the pass. Risky pass with no rerolls. <gasps> yeah, just like that. And ball's gonna scatter to the ground. We'll see if Petting Zoo players will be able to recover and score. Turn eight now for Tracksuit Mafia. Two die block. They're going to block down number 11. Oh no. Oh, please stop this. Somebody call the commissioners. It's too much. It's too much. No one. No one is supposed to be this bloody in a game of Blood Bowl. <laughs> two die. Two die. Ble ah! Stop it, please. My heart. <laughs> oh no. Oh, he's got a broken jaw. Stop it. <laughs> <laughs> Four. <laughs> Four players left on the pitch. Oh, Lord, have mercy. Nuffle, have mercy. <laughs> All right, here we go. <laughs> the blitz has mercifully been spent. Oh, oh, my, my elven brothers, we feel for you. <laughs> He is already dead. Thank you for the bits. Not so trusty patches. <laughs> oh, final, final turn of the first half. Thank you. <laughs> oh. Clavius, thank you for the bits here. Here comes the two die blitz coming up. It's only going to get a push out of it. Oh. Oh, is he gonna try another? Probably not gonna try this this block here, right? Oh, is, is he gonna do it? He's gonna dodge out. <laughs> He's gonna dodge out just because he can. <laughs> All right. 1-0 <laughs> at the half. Petty Zoo players. It's a 
pretty apt Titanic flute. There are four players. There are four players. There are four players left on the pitch. <laughs> and there's a whole half. But hey, <laughs> Tracksuit Mafia is down a player too. Let's not forget, they're down to 10. <laughs> <laughs> a six man player advantage currently for Tracksuit Mafia. Let's see if any two players pull out all the stops. They gotta put three players on the line that is required for illegal formation. And it's a blitz. Oh boy. I, I don't wanna see this. I don't wanna see this. <laughs> Tracksuit Mafia is gonna try to get, get on this ball here. Here comes the blitz. Three die blitz. Good knockdown on Quack Miller, the number 13 lineman. That'll be the one, the one blitz he gets, the one knockdown he's able to get on this free turn. He can move everybody else who's not in a tackle zone. And you can bet he's gonna pick off the rest of this team here. Holy moly. Merrick, why you gotta be such a bully? <laughs> <laughs> Turn nine now for betting zoo players. <laughs> They're going after this ball. <laughs> Failed the pickup. <laughs> They're gonna, man, man. What did you, <laughs> what did you do to Nuffle? <laughs> that was a, that was a failed eighty-three percent pickup. That was a failed two plus. Good block. I have to imagine we're gonna see a foul coming up here. Tracksuit Mavi is spending the reroll on turn nine because they say, why not? Why not? I don't need them. <laughs> Another block is going to be on the way for number 15, but that's going to be by a journeyman. So he'll save that for last. Yeah, it looks like he's going to set up for this for this uh, foul, it looks like. Good knockdown here on Pony Malone. <laughs> There'll be three assists on that foul. Oh no, he's gonna foul the number 13 lineman? He's gonna blitz <laughs> number four. He's gonna get a push. Prob oh, I'm surprised he didn't push straight back. Set up for a surf. One die blitz coming back. He's gonna get the push here. He's gonna try to pick up the ball. He has to, right? Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> That's not a two plus this time, it's a three plus. Oh, oh, give me a break. Nuffle, you are kind and, and we love you, but <laughs> man, come on. <laughs> I'm sorry. You know what? It's never Nuffle's fault. It's Doug the Minotaur's fault for not praying hard enough to Nuffle. Tracksuit Mafia. <laughs> are you blaming Nuffle? No, I'm not blaming Nuffle for anything. Uh, two die blitz here. Only gonna get the push. He'll get another block coming up though. Two die block on number four. This will be a good knockdown. Oh boy. Stood up number 13. Another blitz by the blitzer. The downfield blitzer by the ball. Props to Doug the Minutes are playing this game. He's, uh, he's fighting every single turn. Sends a player down pitch. That That's enough. Tracksuit Mafia needs to be careful here. <laughs> Calypia says, do you really want my dwarves to wander over there to the A division and say hello? No, I'm good. Thank you. Thank you very much. See where the ball scatters here. Scatters straight back. <laughs> Clavius, thank you for the bits, I appreciate it. And he's stunned, oh, boo. He was such a trooper, such a trooper. Pow on the, uh, we'll call him the caged up, the caged up elf, number nine. And now Tracksuit Mafia is gonna get a mark here on number 15.
Blitz has been spent. Wow, lots of marks on number 15. I am surprised by the restraint shown without foul. Is this going to be a foul? No foul. Wow. Wow. Good stand up by the number nine lineman. Failed dodge by number 13. Boy. <laughs> Boy. <laughs> Good for you, Doug the Minotaur. I didn't hear no bell. <laughs> Still four players left for uh, petting zoo players here. I tell you what, if they can get on the board, they win this game. <laughs> if they get on the board, they win. That's it. <laughs> Two die blitz coming up against number nine. Gets a push out of it. That'll be it, unless a foul is coming. I'd be fouling all day, man. <laughs> I'd be fouling all day. Good pickup by Tracksuit Mafia. And they're just gonna hang tight outside the end zone. Ah, there's the foul. Here we go. Fouling the blitzer. One assist on the foul. Gets a stun out of it, does not get called off the pitch. He's refs, man, I tell ya. Turn 13 for Tracksuit Mafia, their first turn of the fourth and final quarter of this slaughter. <laughs> Push on the blitz, they'll get another two-die block, this time with uh, with oh, another one with Claw. Wow, the first one was with Claw and Mighty Blow. Gets a, uh, no. Gets a mark on the down number 13 lineman. Getting a ton of assists here. Looks like he's trying to get the three-die block. Three, four, five, six. Yep. This will make it a three die block against poor old number nine. Gets the pal. <laughs> Berserking Tempest says, I'm so happy there's injured elves. That's all there ever needs to be. That's all there needs to be this season. <laughs> Jack Sue Mafia is gonna shift a little bit to the left and here comes another foul. No assist this time. Doesn't get anything out of this foul and still does not get called off the pitch. Yeah. Yeah, mess him up, two die block, only gets the push. <laughs> you save him, you save little 15, you save their lives, <laughs> run away, run far away, turn 14 for Tracksuit Mafia. Clive says he's still got four players. He's fine. <laughs> Tracksuit Mafia is going to try to get. Looks like they're going to blitz number thirteen here. Failed the wild animal roll with the big guy. Here comes the blitz. No, he's going to blitz. Uh, <laughs> he's going to blitz number four. Two die blitz with horns. Spends the reroll, gets a pal. Oh, that's dirty. It's gross. Doesn't get anything out of it. You got a stun. Oof, tried the blitz. Uh, Penny Zoo players tried the blitz here. I commend him for it. Didn't work out. Doesn't have the reroll for that. Turn 15 now for Tracksuit Mafia. One turn left of murder. <laughs> it could be two. Good hit. Boy, oh boy. Two die blitz with the Chaos Warrior. Good knockdown on number 15, Pony Malone. Or should it be? 
Should it be Pony Maloney? <laughs> is that is that really how that should be pronounced? <laughs> Another foul here on number four. Trying to get the injury. Still doesn't get called off the pitch. Refs! Take a look at this cheating tracksuit mafia team. Turn 16, he'll just trot it into the end zone. Two to zero. I think that's the final, right? This is the last turn. Two to zero, Tracksuit Mafia is gonna take this game. Boy. <laughs> <Huh>. <laughs> Have we mentioned elves are fragile? <laughs> Have we mentioned chaos teams get access to terrifying skills? <laughs> Oh, two to zero, 16 armor breaks for Tracksuit Mafia. Whoo! <laughs> Where's the deaths? I want to see the death toll. Two deaths sustained, yikes. Yikes, SPP. Oh, I didn't want to see this. I didn't want to see this at all. <laughs> oh boy, what is that? 10, uh, 20, <laughs> 10, 21, 25 SPP for Tracksuit Mafia? And six for Petting Zoo players. Good luck, Division B. <laughs> Doug, the minutes are made at excellent points. <laughs> the, the, the MVP can be anybody on your team, whether they're alive or dead. He had two dead players. Thankfully, the MVP, not only not dead, but uh, not injured, too. So, uh, hooray. <laughs> Berserking Tempest says, all right, now for the Wood Elves. <laughs> oh. Whew, <laughs> well, that was, that was super fun. <laughs> We're gonna have uh, one more game this evening. This one's gonna be a live match. It's the final Division A match. It'll be Tainted Cocktails at Nurgle Burgle Boys. That's gonna be another Chaos team versus a brand new TV 1000 Nurgle team. That'll be tonight at nine o'clock p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. That'll be coming up in just shy of 25 minutes. What we're gonna do is we're gonna end this stream. I'm gonna reset the graphics real quick. We're gonna set the stream up, uh, not with a 15 minute timer, but with uh, however much time we have left. And uh, we'll get this game underway. The game will kick off at nine o'clock tonight. So that's 21 minutes from now. Oh man, I <laughs> hope you enjoyed this game. I, I loved it. <laughs> <laughs> As always, you can check out the schedule here on Twitch and on our Twitter and Facebook accounts. You can see the information for that right there on your screen. Play Blood Bowl. Don't you want to get murdered by a Minotaur? <laughs> All right, we'll see you back here in just a few minutes for the final game of week one. Uh, until then, grab yourself a drink, guys, and relax, and we'll see you in just a few minutes.